The final finishing technique that I want to show you is how to make a lattice pie topping. And this is a great thing to use for cherry pie. It's the one that I use it the most on. And it's a little detail that's not difficult. Once you see how it's done, you're kind of like, oh yeah, I can do that. But what you need to have is you need to have your pie ready to go, the bottom crust, the filling. I would suggest putting it on a sheet tray. You need your second piece of dough already like rolled out and I chilled this after I rolled it out just to make sure it was it was easy to, to maneuver. You don't want this to be soft. That's a nightmare. And what we're going to do is we are going to cut strips from this dough. You can use an, I'm going to use a knife. You can also use one of those little pastry rollers. That's what that tool is great for. But we're looking for about an inch wide and I 100% encourage you just to like embrace the abnormalities here of whatever your dough shape looks like. Don't get hung up if it's not picture perfect, if every little strip um, isn't picture perfect. But go ahead and cut the whole piece of dough before you start latticing. We may not use all these, but it's good to have them ready if we need them. Okay, doubt I'm gonna need that corner piece, but okay, I'm gonna scooch these a little bit this way to make some room so that you can see how this works. Um, just like in the apple pie, we first need to trim this dough, but we need to keep in mind that we are going to be tucking under again. So the top dough is going to tuck under and be compressed with the bottom dough. So just like in the apple pie, I'm going to trim this, but I'm going to trim it just a little bit, probably like a half an inch beyond the edge of the pie plate itself, because we need to have a little something to work with. So to show you, there's the edge. I probably have about a, a thumbnail's width hanging over beyond the edge of the pie plate itself. Now, where you don't have that, like right here, I don't have it, like just don't worry about it, move on. That, that part will be fine, I promise. And like this whole side um, right here, I don't even have anything to trim because it was kind of irregularly shaped. So just skip that part. That'll be, that'll be okay. Yeah, this whole like side right here was a little rough, but um, I'm, glad I'm, I'm glad I'm getting to show you that it doesn't have to be perfect in order for it to work. Okay, so we have a pretty uniform piece of pie dough there. Okay, and now we're ready. And this is what, this is how, this is how we do it. Take your longest strip and start in the middle. And again, never stretch. That, that is not what we want. If anything like kind of slouched in on itself. So you put one down and now we're gonna add all the ones that are gonna run top to bottom. And I like to like leave, I like to choose every other one because we're gonna need another long one to go the other way. So skip one and grab its neighbor. Kind of go right there, maybe a little closer. And then skip one, grab a dough piece like that. And then let's see if this one is long enough. Yeah, that'll work. And then I'm going to get maybe this, maybe this baby piece over here, just to give an outer, outer border. Okay. This is what we have. Now, I'm going to turn my pie plate for ease. And I have one, two, three, four, five strips. I want you to Pull strip number two and number four halfway back and lay down the center going the other way. Then put two and four back in place, okay? Now I want you to fold back one, three, and five. And we're gonna lay down the next piece like this and then lay these back in the place. Okay, now we're gonna go on the other side. Again, lift up, let me think about this, yeah. Lift up uh, strip number one, 
three and five, lay down a lattice, put these back, then lift up two and four, lay this one, put everything back where it goes, and then you can see, and now I'm gonna move this more centered, you can see that we have this nice woven pattern of pie dough strips. Doesn't that look beautiful? Okay, now let's talk about how to like clean up the edges. So imagine all of these overhanging pieces. We just want to cut roughly, just ever so slightly outside the bottom crust. Now this one didn't have any to cut off and neither does this one, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's do this other side. Just trim them right up. Okay. So now we're ready to tuck and seal all of our pie pieces. And because this pattern has um, obviously open holes, we're not gonna have to worry about venting this pie. Okay, full disclosure, this is where I sort of make it up every time as I go, because it just depends where your strips are and what's you know happening. But I just do my best to like fold everything under. And sometimes it, I think to myself, this just doesn't look right, it's not pretty but somehow it always comes out looking okay. I've never had anybody complain about the way the homemade cherry pie looks and some of its charm is the fact that it doesn't look like it's in a magazine. It looks like it came out of my kitchen. Okay, so once we have them as tucked as they can be, now I like to use my finger again, like I did in the apple pie and squeeze together the two, the, t the top dough and the bottom dough. We're trying to seal those two and form kind of like some sort of distinguishable crust for the outer borders of the pie. It's not as straightforward as it was on the apple pie, but it works. Same technique. Just keep going all the way around, little by little. Hmm. This corner is kind of a mess, isn't it? Just that. That, that. Okay. Now, we have sealed our edges. I'm, I just keep making sure that it's all inside the pie plate because from experience, anytime I've had it hanging over, it, it does not go well. To finish this, we're gonna do the same thing as we did with the apple pie. We're going to brush the exposed pie dough with egg wash and then sprinkle it with chunky sugar. And particularly on this cherry pie, I just think that chunky sugar looks so beautiful. And don't worry about the egg wash. If some of it gets into the filling, it's okay. This filling is going to bubble up and caramelize kind of all over this topping, which is really beautiful. So a little bit of, I don't know, see how it's kind of all running together? That's okay, I promise. But just brush the whole thing. And then in the same way, sprinkle it with the chunky sugar. And there we go. This is ready to go in the oven. It's gonna be beautiful.